Well, howdy there, friends. Today, we're embarking on a remarkable journey to catch a glimpse of how the cast members from Family Matters have changed over the years. We'll be revealing their true identities and ages, and you're in for a real treat as we compare their youthful days on the show to the present year of 2023. So, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Y'all ready for this ride? Let's get this journey rolling. Number 1. Reginald Vell Johnson as Carl Winslow, a man of many hats, figuratively and literally, Carl. He's the guardian of Chicago's streets, the breadwinner extraordinaire, and the guy who's not afraid to roll up his sleeves and get things done. You see, Carl takes his role as the man of the house quite seriously. It's not just a title. It's a responsibility he carries on his shoulders like a badge of honor. When you're under Carl's watch, you're in safe hands. When it comes to saving a buck, he's like a financial ninja, stealthily navigating the labyrinth of discounts, deals, and DIY projects. Who needs a pricey tax consultant when Carl can tackle those numbers himself? Ever tried building a bookshelf and ended up with a towering disaster? Well, Carl has, and he'll be the first to admit it. But you know what sets him apart? He doesn't let a few mishaps deter him. Since the beloved TGIF Staple Family Matters concluded in 1998, the cast has gone on to pursue various endeavors. Jaleel White, who famously portrayed Steve Urkel, moved on to star in the short-lived sitcom Grown Ups and made cameo appearances in Dream Girls 2006 and Boston Legal. He also lent his voice to Sonic in the Sonic the Hedgehog franchise. Jaleel White's career extended to reality television when he competed on a season of Dancing with the Stars. In 2012, where he finished in seventh place, he has taken on recurring roles in shows like Me, Myself, and I, Trial and Error, and Raven's Home, and made appearances in films such as The 1517 to Paris, 2018, and Hustle, 2022. Carl Winslow played by Reginald Vell Johnson when he was 37 years old, and now he is 71 years old. Number 2. Jaleel White as Steve Urkel Steve has a superpower that goes beyond his penchant for science experiments and his affinity for all things geeky. He's a bona fide trouble sniffer and a master of unveiling those not-so-innocent facades. You could say he's like Sherlock Holmes, minus the deerstalker hat and pipe. But no matter how many times life throws him a curveball, how many doors get slammed in his face, or how many times he's taken advantage of, this guy's heart is a bottomless well of forgiveness and unwavering loyalty. The Winslow family might not always appreciate his overzealousness or his tendency to inadvertently wreak havoc, but Steve never holds a grudge. He keeps coming back with that same goofy grin ready to offer a helping hand or share one of his hilarious anecdotes. Reginald Vell Johnson rose to fame in 1988 when he portrayed LAPD Sergeant Al Powell in the action classic Die Hard. A year later, he secured the role of Carl Winslow, another police officer in the beloved ABC series Family Matters, which spanned nine seasons. After his time on the show, Vell Johnson made guest appearances on various series, including The Equalizer, Will and Grace, Monk, CSI, The Parkers, and That's So Raven. In the realm of film, he took on small roles in movies like Like Mike, 2002, and You Again, 2010. In his most recent work, the former TGIF star portrayed Reggie in the 2020 Australian comedy the very excellent Mr. Dundee, which happened to be Olivia Newton-John's final film before her passing in 2022. Additionally, he participated in the 2022 90s con event alongside fellow Family Matters alumni Kelly Williams, Joe Marie Payton, and Darius McCrary. Steve Urkel played by Jaleel White when she was 13 years old, and now he is 64 years old. Number three. Darius McCrary as Eddie Winslow. You know the type. All about cars, girls, and living life on the edge. But hey, who can blame him? Youth is all about adventure, right? Instead of hitting the books, Eddie often finds himself in some rather sticky situations. 
And let's be honest, most of those situations can be traced back to his, shall we say, questionable decision-making skills. He might not be acing calculus or winning the school's spelling bee, but he's got a different kind of education. He's learning about life, one adventurous misstep at a time. And yes, while his escapades may give his parents a few gray hairs, they're all part of growing up, right? Eddie, in all his teenage glory, reminds us of the wild, unpredictable ride of adolescence. He's the guy who will someday have epic tales to tell, the one who will look back and laugh at the crazy stunts and misadventures. He's proof that being young means taking risks, making mistakes, and having the time of your life while doing it. Darius McCrary, known for his role as Eddie, the eldest Winslow child, appeared in all five seasons of Family Matters. Following his time on the show, he ventured into voice acting, lending his voice to characters like Jazz in the original Transformers movie and Tarix in the animated film Bionicle, The Legend Reborn. Besides voice work, McCrary also took on on-screen roles, including a part in the 2001 film 15 Minutes, alongside Robert De Niro, and a role in Saw Ive. In 2009, McCrary made a return to television by temporarily replacing Shamar Moore on The Young and the Restless. He remained on the soap opera until 2011, and then continued his television career with a role in the FX sitcom Anger Management. In his most recent work, the former child star portrayed Connor on the drama series Monogamy, which aired its third season in 2021. Eddie Winslow, played by Darius McCrary, when he was 13 years old and now he is 48 years old. Number four, Kelly Shanine Williams as Laura Winslow. Laura is what you might call a self-proclaimed know-it-all. Yep, she's that sibling who gives her brother Eddie a run for his money in the who-knows-better department. But hey, that's what siblings are for, right? They're here to keep us on our toes and Laura is no exception. As the years go by, this young lady blossoms into an absolute star student. I'm talking acing all her classes with flying colors. She's the kind of student who probably dreams in textbooks and has a GPA that defies gravity. Why, you ask? Laura has a singular goal in mind. She's on a mission to get into the hallowed halls of Harvard Law School. Now, let's talk about her relationship with her brother, Eddie. It's a classic love-hate dynamic that keeps us all entertained. They bicker, they compete, and they drive each other absolutely bonkers. But you know what they say. That's what siblings are for. Deep down, they've got each other's backs, even if they won't admit it. Even if Kelly Shanine Williams, best known for her role as Laura Winslow on Family Matters, continued her acting career after the show. She co-starred on the ABC sitcom What About Joan, alongside Joan Cusack and Kyle Chandler. Additionally, she served as a guest host on Clean House. In recent years, Williams has shifted her focus towards her family, dividing her time between Los Angeles and Maryland. She has also become actively involved in public speaking engagements and various charitable endeavors. One notable initiative is the Kelly Williams Program which she established in 2006. This program aims to provide students in the Washington, D.C. metro area with the opportunity to produce a television show for Comcast. Laura Winslow, played by Kelly Shanine Williams, when she was 13 years old and now she is 48 years old. Number five, Joe Marie Payton as Harriet Winslow. Harriet's integrity shines like a thousand suns. It's like having a moral compass that's always pointed in the right direction. When she says she'll do something, you can bet your bottom dollar it's as good as done. Her word is her bond, and that's a rarity in this world. But it's not just about being a hardworking woman, although she's certainly that. Harriet's determination is like a roaring thunderstorm. When she sets her mind to something, there's no stopping her. Challenges? She laughs in their face. Obstacles? She sees them as mere stepping stones to her goals. She's not one to stand idly by when she sees injustice. She's the first to step up, speak out, and take action. She's the voice for those who can't speak, the protector of the vulnerable, and the champion of what's right. 
Following her role as the Winslow family matriarch, Harriet, on Family Matters, Jo Marie Payton continued to build her television career, taking on recurring and lead roles in various primetime shows. In 1999, she became a part of Moshe's fourth season, portraying the recurring character Mrs. Campbell. She further enriched her television repertoire by appearing as Mrs. Freeman, an assistant at Will's law firm, in the second season of Will and Grace. Jo Marie Payton's contributions to voice acting have been significant. She brought life to Sugar Mama Proud, the unpredictable grandmother of the protagonist Penny Proud, in Disney Channel's The Proud Family from 2001 to 2005. Additionally, she lent her distinctive voice to The Proud Family Movie. Fans of the show can also hear Jo Marie Payton as Sugar Mama in the 2023 Disney Plus revival of the series. Harriet Winslow played by Jo Marie Payton when he was 39 years old and now she is 73 years old. Number 6. Rosetta Lenoir as Estelle Mother. Winslow. Imagine Wonder Woman. Add a generous dash of Mother Teresa's compassion and sprinkle in a pinch of Oprah's wisdom. That's Harriet. Yeah, she's that amazing. Harriet's integrity shines like a thousand suns. It's like having a moral compass that's always pointed in the right direction. When she says she'll do something, you can bet your bottom dollar it's as good as done. Her word is her bond, and that's a rarity in this world. But it's not just about being a hardworking woman, although she's certainly that. Harriet's determination is like a roaring thunderstorm. When she sets her mind to something, there's no stopping her. Challenges? She laughs in their face. Obstacles? She sees them as mere stepping stones to her goals. Short and sassy, Rosetta Lenoir was a senior citizen before America discovered her allure through her appearances as Nell Carter's mother on the NBC sitcom Gimme a Break in the 1980s and as Mother Winslow on Family Matters in the 90s. But truth be told, Lenoir was not just a Broadway veteran. She had danced with her godfather Bill Bojangles Robinson, had done experimental TV in the 40s, had founded a respected theater company, and so loved to perform that she would perform Shakespeare at a convalescent home if that were her only venue, and she has. Estelle Mother Winslow by Rosetta Lenoir when she was 29 years old. Sadly, on March 17, 2002, Lenoir died at Holy Name Hospital in Teaneck, New Jersey, of complications from diabetes. But an article in TV Guide reported that she died of pneumonia. She was 90 years old. Number 7. Brighton James as Richie Crawford. Have you ever heard the saying, big things come in small packages? Well, let me introduce you to Richie, and he's the living embodiment of that phrase. A whirlwind of energy, a pint-sized dynamo, a little ball of pure joy. That's Richie for you. Despite his small stature, he brings a whole new level of fun and excitement to the Winslow household. But Richie's not just there to cause a ruckus. He's a bundle of curiosity and enthusiasm. Every day is a new adventure for him, and he dives into life headfirst. His wide-eyed wonder at the world is nothing short of infectious. You can't help but get caught up in his excitement for the little things in life. Now let's talk about Richie's hero the man he looks up to like no other, Uncle Steve. It's a dynamic like no other, a bond that's reminiscent of Batman and Robin. Except instead of capes and gadgets, you've got diapers and a pocket protector. Richie hangs on Steve's every word, and in return, Steve is there to guide and protect him. James embarked on his showbiz journey at just two years old, featuring in commercials and magazine ads, including one alongside Michael Jackson. By age four, he became Richie Crawford in the hit sitcom Family Matters, spanning seven years and over 200 episodes. His TV success continued as Devin Hamilton on The Young and the Restless since June 2004, earning a Daytime Emmy in 2007, and a Nay CP Image Award in 2009. James expanded into voice acting, notably in Zevo 3, Young Justice, Invasion, and Star Wars Rebels. He also ventured into music, performing on Disney Channel and international networks. Richie Crawford by Brighton James 
when he was four years old, and now he is 37 years old. Number eight, Sean Harrison as Waldo Geraldo Faldo. Waldo Geraldo Faldo. It's a bit like stumbling upon a diamond in a haystack of mashed potatoes. Who would have thought that beneath that endearing cluelessness lies a culinary prodigy just waiting to be unleashed? It's a tale of hidden talents and untapped potential. They say, not all heroes wear capes, and Waldo is living proof of that. His journey from being the guy who couldn't find his way out of a paper bag to becoming a culinary sensation is nothing short of remarkable. It's a story of self-discovery, of unearthing talents we never knew we had. While the unforgettable name Waldo Geraldo Faldo may linger, Sean Harrison moved on to appear in various TV shows after his role in Family Matters. He made appearances in series like Moesha and had recurring roles in Girlfriends and Legion of Superheroes. Interestingly, he also has a couple of food-related projects in development, perhaps inspired by Waldo's culinary skills. Harrison continued his television journey with guest spots on shows such as Dynasty, The M's Pat Show, and Raven's Home. Most recently, Harrison made a cameo on fellow TGF alumna Raven Simonet's show Raven's Home for two episodes in 2022. Waldo Geraldo Faldo, played by Sean Harrison, when he was 17 years old and now he is 49 years old. Number 9. Jamie Foxworth as Judy Winslow. Judy Winslow, where mischief meets innocence. A pint-sized bundle of mischief and laughter, a young explorer of life's quirkiest corners. Judy may be small in stature, but her personality is larger than life itself. She's like a firecracker in the midst of a serene evening, a burst of energy and excitement that leaves everyone around her in stitches. In the grand mosaic of family life, Judy is the piece that adds that much needed spice. She's the unexpected twist in the plot, the curveball that keeps you guessing. They say, life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. Best remembered as Judy Winslow, the youngest of the three children of Carl and Harriet Winslow on ABC's Family Matters series, the bright smile Jamie Foxworth left that series at the end of the fourth season for reasons that were never explained. Presumably, as Judy was the least developed character and the emphasis of the series had shifted to Laura and neighbor Steve Urkel, the role was expendable. Even in her relative youth, Foxworth was a seasoned professional, beginning her career in TV comericals, including one of McDonald's at age five. Foxworth also sings and has performed with her sisters, Tyron Perry and Jania Foxworth, as the group Heaven Sent and appeared in the Tomorrow video produced by Quincy Jones. Judy Winslow by Danielle Brisebois, when she was 10 years old and now she is 44 years old. Number 10. Telma Hopkins as Rachel Crawford. Rachel is more than just a sister. She's the kind of sibling we all secretly wish we had. She possesses a heart as precious as gold, and her mind is a finely honed instrument, sharp as a katana blade. When you think of Rachel, think of a harmonious blend of grace and intelligence, all wrapped up in a captivating package. Before joining the cast of Family Matters, Telma Hopkins was well known as a member of the Night Tansifendars pop music group Tony Orlando and Dawn. Her sitcom career began with the early 1980s series Bosom Buddies and continued with Gimme a Break in 1983. Later, she became part of the Family Matters cast for its first through fourth seasons, portraying Rachel Baines Crawford, the younger sister of Harriet Winslow. Following her role on Family Matters, Hopkins starred in Getting By, another TGIF show that aired from 1993 to 1994 since second season aired on NBC. She then went on to appear as a regular cast member on Half and Half and Are We There Yet? Notably, Hopkins had already established herself in the world of film before her time on Family Matters, with appearances in movies like the sci-fi feature Trancers and its sequels, Trancers 2 and Trancers 3. After her TGF tenure, she played Lillian Roanoke in Mike Myers' 2008 film The Love Guru. Most recently, she portrayed Freya in the 2021 film The Matrix Resurrections. 
Rachel Crawford played by Telma Hopkins when she was 41 years old, and now she is 75 years old. Number 11. Sherry Johnson as Maxine Johnson. If laughter truly is the best medicine, then Maxine has the prescription to make you immortal. Maxine isn't just Laura Winslow's best friend. She's a one-woman comedy show, a stand-up sensation in her own right. With her razor-sharp wit and lightning-fast comebacks, she's a force of nature when it comes to delivering punchlines. Now, what sets Maxine apart in the world of humor? Well, it's all about timing, delivery, and an endless well of hilarious observations. Maxine has the kind of wit that can turn even the most mundane situations into laugh-out-loud moments. When she speaks, you can't help but hang on to her every word, waiting for the next comedic gem to drop. Following the conclusion of the series Punky Brewster in 1988, it didn't take long for Cherie Johnson to land another prominent TV role. In 1990, she was cast as Laura Winslow's best friend on the classic sitcom Family Matters. This role became one of her most recognizable performances as an actress and carried her through the 1990s. Throughout the early 2000s, Johnson continued to act, taking on roles such as appearing on the series The Parkers, making a guest appearance on The Proud Family, and playing a character role in the straight-to-DVD film Male Booty. While expanding her creative horizons, Johnson continued to pursue acting, and in 2009, she wrote, produced, and starred in the romantic comedy I Do, I Did, showcasing her versatility in both on-screen and behind-the-scenes roles. Maxine Johnson played by Sherry Johnson when she was 15 years old, and now she is 47 years old. Number 12. Michelle Thomas as Myra Monkhouse. Myra is a character who brings an extra dose of bubbly personality wherever she goes, and when it comes to her feelings for Steve, there's simply no holding back. But here's what makes Myra truly special. She doesn't just keep her affection for Steve to herself. No, she wears her heart on her sleeve and shouts her love from the rooftops, metaphorically speaking, of course. Whether it's through sweet words, affectionate gestures, or just being around, Myra's love for Steve is an undeniable and unapologetic force. Myra Monkhouse by Michelle Thomas when she was 25 years old. Sadly, on December 23rd at age 30, Thomas died in New York City at Manhattan's Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center. We really love the cast of The Family Matters. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please like, comment, and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you on the next video.